We're hurting and we're afraid and we're scared and just being able to gather together has been very healing. We strongly against what's happening right now to all the Palestinians in Gaza Strip and all the humanity is taken away from them. Here in the St. Louis region, people have been gathering, showing support on both sides of the Israel-Gaza conflict. And our crews were out today as people were rallying and responding over this conflict in the Middle East, where the humanitarian crisis is deepening. Free, free Palestine! Voices echoed across the St. Louis metro Sunday as pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli groups rallied. At Keener Plaza, Ahmed Hussein, who lives in St. Louis, hopes the U.S. and the world can help the people still stuck in Gaza. Uh, people have been denied water, electricity, food, uh, and of course this is not right. He was among hundreds of others chanting Free Palestine as they ask world leaders to stop the occupation of the West Bank. Protesters very upset over the bombing of Gaza that's killed thousands already, including children. It's not about anything religious, anything political, is just about humanitarian issue. People are being bombed. Colonite Chapel is one of the organizers of this rally in Creve Core in support of Israel. We are hurting and we're afraid and we're scared and just being able to gather together has been very healing. She says they wanted to be visible and make sure all communities who wanted to stand with them could do that. They stand with Israel in hopes this leads to a new government in Palestine. We would like to see Hamas dismantled and for Israelis and Palestinians to live in peace. The number of people killed continues climbing on both sides of this. We also know at least 30 Americans were killed and 13 others unaccounted for.